All right, checky cam time. We're going to have a quick look at turn two and look at the pre-combat situation and see what's going on. So up in the north, first up we have a couple of straight up five to one attacks and we're uh, leveraging supply where we can and using them. I just pop the, <clears throat> the tokens that, that are going to be used over by where the attacks are happening once I've noted how far away they are from the specific uh, attacks that are happening. So I don't forget to take them off the board. So that's why that dump is sitting out there because he was railed in over here and we simply uh, just dumped it over, put it over there and, and went for it from there. Uh, not much else to say. I was gonna attack this force outside of Grodno, but we've captured the objective. We don't need to fight. So let's let it be and not take a low odds attack. Next turn, they will be out of supply or in emergency supply. The turn after that, they're gonna be out of supply and then we'll have uh, more fun attacking them. Well, it does slow down our movement, but I can, uh, by that time I will have uh, taken care of that emergency uh, unit under there. I can bring up that infantry and let them finish these guys off while the uh, 18th motorized and co pin them in place. Doing a little bit of cleanup over here. Uh, we'll have that guy isolated uh, next turn. Same here. Uh, we're going to go in and do this attack anyway. It was a three when we flipped it over. I was expecting it, you know, I had a good chance of it being a one. And it wasn't. Uh, shit happens. And then <clears throat> nothing down here for the moment. Those guys will all be out of supply next turn, pretty much. And then we've got a couple of attacks here that I need to. Uh, break up here because uh, there's a layered defense trying to be built around Bealoth, Bealoth stock, Bial stock, whatever it's called. And I need to get to that sooner rather than later so we can cut it off and, and, and do our thing and then move onwards up that this main road here, right? Okay, down by the Brest-Lavotsk uh area not a whole lot going on lots of movement along the roads here we've got one de declared attack here this guy withstood a overrun whoops uh withstood an overrun this turn last turn this turn i should say in the movement uh, phase so we're going to pile in there with a seven to one attack with a minus three uh for the air and I believe because I have a, pan, a full Panzer division in there, that will give me the additional minus one there. And of course, we're gonna use the, the truck here to support that. Meanwhile, we've got three divisions or the equivalent of three divisions uh, staged and ready to move on to the next stack of uh, forces to be fought here. All the white crosses on those units are just showing us that they're not allowed to be moved this turn and we will, uh, they'll be freed up next turn. You've got uh, Minsk in the distance just there and then further on all the way up over there is uh, Smolensk. So early days, it's playing pretty quickly. Uh, more double checking to make sure I'm not making major mistakes, little ones we can live with. Uh, the Dust Reich and uh, the 10th Panzer have arrived. They came on down here. So it's a classic case of the, the two wings of the, of the German army uh, trying to make that big pincer move all the way down to Minsk, ideally. And we're trying to drive the pocket and squeeze the pocket as we go along. Got some time pressure against us because anything left on this map, I believe map C and maybe even map D, and I have to check the special rules. Uh, you do lose VPs if they hang around too long, even if they're out of supply. So you do have to clean up your rear areas, which is always good. Otherwise it's too easy for the, for the Germans just to, you know, say, hey, whatever, and just uh, carry on and, and, uh, and ignore their, their backfield. Because these guys can't really do much damage individually but there are some strong units if you work to combine them and 
the German player was stupid enough they could cause some damage. All right, let's go off and roll some dice and see what happens. We'll talk to you again soon.